because this is a rugged and tough team bruiser team. lineup coming out from Alliance here. And uh, Alchemist. more high tempo. Easy set of bursts from the Tiny with the Sisters of the Wisp could lead to an easy first blood. Top, Top lane. lane, making it go for the Bulldog. Fortune's End flies out. That means the stomp is going to connect. Man's right. put to bed, but man, Spartan's like, I'm at six stacks, I'm burned to a crisp. He goes down, it's gonna be Bulldog who picks up the first blood instead. Ooh, a bit too much of that into the other Titan. And you know which other team did that yesterday and started that kind of like trend? Well, not maybe the entire trend, but no diggity, Escape Gaming. So, yeah. Sindarin, of course, the coach for Alliance. Uh huh. That's pretty, pretty ironic. S4, going on mid. Yep. Oh, back. whoa! That Big was a long back. ball toss all the way back under the tower and right towards Ake, who sets the whole thing up. Thug's like, you know what? Maybe I can get a creep to kill in, but Ake walks away and Thug goes down. Wonderful setup. Kill on the Alchemist here. Yeah, they're scouting him. They know they're doing the stack. S4. And Ake, hand oh, in no. hand. Thug. They're looking to make their move, and it's a convenient timing where they can also take some of the stack for themselves. There's going to be the stun. There's Got the toss. The there's the coconut. The Falls all the way back, but Thug soaks up the damage and walks away. A double rotation comes out, and even Skylark even shows up. And now they're going to look for some return fire. They're looking to make the jump on S4. Oh, no. EGM trying to come into assist, but now it could lead to his own demise. They go for the hunt on both Ake and EGM. EGM, a Valiant TP, is going to be able to make it away, but not so good for Ake. He gets a solo chrono just for him. And Skylark. Skylark will pick that one up in this game. Go Can't overlook it. It ends up saving Thug's life, and they're able to turn around and get two kills. Two pretty big kills, in my opinion. What a wonderful item. Yeah, it, it actually just straight up says Madara looks to intercept, and uh, the relocate will uh, send the company right back out from Alliance. But Bulldog's here now. Not the ideal blink debut he was hoping for, as he had to kind of step in and assist his team. He's got a Sange picked up now in the career. Yeah, that, that seems pretty traditional for Loda, but yeah, in, in Bottom recent lane, time. relocate. Oh, god damn it, I was trying to get rid of the freaking thing. Oh, no, this is my bad. Okay. Bottom lane to relocate in will allow the Skylark takedown. I forgot to sign out of Steam, and I was trying to take care of it real quick, so that's my bad, folks. But nonetheless, a successful relocate the top lane, though. EGM, they go back on the relocate. As soon as it comes in, EGM gonna get bursted down, but S4 does have an invisible, and he'll find a kill on Skylark. Boom! Thanks for having my back there, bro. They were able to take down both of them, and it looks like a, a hot trotting approaching the mid game, and all the level sixes are coming together. Do you think they got what they wanted out of the laning phase? They got almost everything they wanted in the laning phase. It didn't go perfect for them, but then it went almost just as well as they could have hoped for. They've got the two tier ones down. They're trying to get Ake here. Madara has to burst through a lot because EGM's making it so difficult, but he'll eventually get it. He's going to be forced to time lapse, and now he puts his sights onto the wind. Earth Bitter flies out, but he tethers away to that range creep and avoids the trouble, but he will still get popped by maybe next time. So, excellent little... You're certainly light. Uh, right, rather. He has to play a bit of catch-up here if he wants to be a... Any sort of game changer on the Bottom lane, relocate void. on Skylark again. And they will punish him once more. Bulldog finding the opportunities. Very, yeah, very well nice. But Skylark is also very far pushed up, and you kind of have to expect things like that. You're playing versus a Wisp. And and oh, EGM actually brings S4 back into yeah. the top into the swarm. Anthony M seems so good to be able to exactly identify where the Wisp is going to be returned. Taking down Skylark an extra peg is very nice for Alliance. Yep. Absolutely. And getting getting relocate kills is always great because you boost your economy of your Bat Rider. The Wisp as well gets levels from it. You even earn charges on top. And Loda just kind of is running around, not really feeling pressure at all. And Madara able to sneak in a sweet little Nasha. He's pretty dang farmed. He's actually catching up nicely uh, here with the Alchemist. But Walking yeah. into a Tiny. He drops down a ward, but Tiny's right there. Him and Bulldog will tag team this one. He tries to kind of nullify a bit of the burst damage with the Fates Edict, but it's not. Here two on a Skylark. He turns it around, gets a Chrono onto two, but there's no follow-up. Uh, the Alchemist, obviously not a part of this one, trying to maneuver from that top lane, but there's going to be another lasso. This one for the Weaver, and he goes down. No time lapse at all. It's not cool. It's not. It was on cooldown regardless, but a wonderful pickup for them. Nice little stomp. Ake's low, but there's no way uh, really after him can get in there. This Alk is thinking about intercepting. Maybe next time this could be forced to fall promise himself to stay alive, but they're going to do a lot of bursts. It might be enough to finish him off, and it will. Loda continuing to move in and dishing out those quills just means that the damage will continue to stack. And they are really just kind of being the gatekeepers for this mid lane. Yeah, nice toss back from uh, Unfortunate for Madara if he's on the bad end of the bat rider. And would you know it? Alliance actually get to that agenda sooner than I was expecting. Yeah. Uh, but what, what is this? It looked like a relocate. EGM. Bottom lane? Where are we at here? Up in the jungle. They move back and over. A bit of an awkward stuff for Alliance. And that this is happening. 
Yeah, and it might force Alliance to just withdraw from doing it. Bit of a waste of that false promise there because he did get the time lapse off. But this one ward from Alliance, again, they placed yeah. the same exact ward and it's doing so much work. Madara might get comboed up here. Yeah, boom! He goes down. Very nice for Alliance. S4 now dominating. And every time they may have second thoughts, that ward. This ward is the MVP of the game. And right they now. dropped the sentry, but they still don't spot it out. Now there they'll be able go. to take care of it. Will Alliance still make ha something happen with it, though? It looks like they're making the jump in. Bulldog just flying up and over. Three men's not dug. Beautiful stun connection. The turnaround is going to be smelling with a two-man chrono. They're going to try to burst down the wisp. They will be able to get it. But the core is muscle forward, and they're going to be able to finish off the Oracle. Now they're looking for Thug. Alliance with numbers on their side. Look to rush down the big behemoth here. And he is just slowed and gooed and tossed up and down. And he gets shredded. Tried to get off any sort of potential suicide, but it's not going to be there. Skylark's going to be the follow-up. But Dar gets back in the action. But now he's going to get hot tied up. And this will lead to an Alliance five-man wipe if they can get the finish, but he actually manages to get the time lapse off, and Sakuchi's back. They see him now, and they look to go for him, but it looks like Alliance might have to settle for the four instead, but uh, Ella's time is just so nice to have for any sort of potential counter roach play. This choke point works very nicely for something like an Earth Splitter. Bulldog sidestep. He's going to be popping the Lincoln. The Madar very low. Backing away here, but you're right, he used the lasso and not the four staff on that Lincoln, so it's gonna be wasted. EGM gets targeted with the crow, they try to burst him down, but they can't do enough. EGM's gonna be able to tether away, and he's good. Meanwhile, Thug up in arms with S4. First one to hit the deck is gonna be the Oracle, and now Alliance begin their invade. Skylark, the gatekeeper of the high ground here, not gonna allow him to head up the path, while Madara, Thug, and company make them work with Loda. Loda actually getting the better of it, while back on the other side is Skylark, who's gonna be isolated out on the right hand front. They are up in arms, back in the mid. We can see it's Alliance who swarm around the Madara Weaver and they'll finish him off. Meanwhile, up and over, it's Spartan and Skylark desperate to try to get Bulldog, but they're not gonna get it. It's S4 who rotates in, will be there for his buddy and Alliance sweep through another wonderful team fight. And maybe not communicating or not, there's just there's a lack of cohesion between them. The Void jumps on two targets on the right side. The other Titan doesn't even drop his ultimate right away over and he kind of just, he actually definitely on a very defensive position, but Alliance are just really kind of starving them out now. It's slowly beginning here, taking more of the jungle. Lasso pull back here, Bulldog able to snag up Spartan and even a relocate pulls an S4 so they, they can just secure that one. Alliance will begin their siege. I mean, you got that Aegis here to work with now. Loda is going to be the tanky one in the front lines. No Aegis for him though, so it can't overextend too much. S4 though, jump in, toss back for Thug, straight to a stun connection, but that's going to be the Skylar counterplay. Looks to get the good Chrono, it catches two, but Madara alone is not going to offer enough damage to be able to get any sort of cleanup play. Thug healed up nicely though with help of the false promise and his book of rage. He's going to get full while Skylar, ooh, brief jump away, will avoid the damage of the Death Ward, and now Chaos breaks out. As Banana looks to isolate Loda, he is going to be a real tough cookie to crack, and he is on pursuit for Madara. S4 is going to be able to isolate and finish off the Skylark. Loda very low, it's just taking too much time, and the Thug is still not going to be able to get a beautiful force, sends him to the high ground, wonderful play from Bulldog, Thug saved up in the meantime from, from the Fate, or sorry, from the False Promise, from the Fate's Edict actually, Woo! crazy fight there, and we're not done yet, Bulldog's got a new lasso, pull back on to the maybe next time support, and Alliance will take yet another bit, Loda got so low, like you said, beautiful force step from Bulldog, pushing him up onto that high ground, and this is the opportunity that they needed for Alliance. Like, again, just felt like a bit of missynergy synergy coming out from uh, Ad Venom during that engagement, during that team fight. And they go try to go again. So, oh yeah, something, I, I, I can't believe I didn't comment on later. They already got the tier three down the mid lane. With Raxus exposed, they're looking to do some serious base sieging here. And, uh, well, Skylark's Chrono is back up. There goes the Earth Splitter. But there's going to be a snag on Spartan. They're going to pull him right back up. And they're going to try to burst down the Elder Titan, getting rid of that natural order from the fight before it can even begin. There's going to be the Chrono now. Catches out Akane S4. But with the Crimson Guard pop, he's just tickling him. So can't do much about it. Skylark fearing, feeling pretty useless at this point. And Alliance say, nah, no bother. We'll just go for the racks because, well, that's what's important. And it looks like they are going to be able to clean out this mid lane. And uh, potentially looks like Alliance could be walking away with this game one victory if this keeps up. So this uh, this has actually happened one out. Akinem just waiting patiently to hope for an opening. Madara trying to creep it from the north. From the S4. Person with the stun. Splitter. Just, yeah, just there and then for nothing. Whips them out. 
flips completely. Okay, now Madara. Force pops the link in, so Bulldog will get the lasso play, pulls him back. Decent Skylar Chrono. They are going to be able to take down both supports, but the cores are still alive and well. Line well, up, though. for the meantime, as they are split up, Bulldog's going to have to head south away from this fight. And Thug just determined to run down low. Here comes the concoction play. Lotus creeping with the ancient camp right now is forced to do a corner and it looks like Adminim will finally be able to take a fight in their direction. It's been a long while before they're... Yeah, definitely a lot of money gained. Even though they kind of like use their ult in a weird manner, the chrono end up between these. Skylark getting comboed by... Bada bing, bada boom. Just as fast as you're able to get into the positive after that fight, S4 brings him back down once more, but... As S4 baits in Madara a bit, that's the gem, so they're gonna toss him up. Dara's gonna be forced back. I'm like, I'll avoid it altogether, so I'm gonna be there to catch the little technical thing. So, Alliance did wait out for the Roche, but we'll take it down. Yep. And then I imagine they are looking to close this game out. Do not want to risk. You do have a Batrider. Might be tricky, though, for Bulldog to be able to get there and find the appropriate target to, to kidnap and pull out and oh, allow us to get that number advantage. Oh, they actually get some stop on the wrist to ask Yeah, he's on top. Whoa, Earth Splitter, they're going to be able to take out EGM. Might be forced to fight back. He went over S4, already goes down. He does have the Aegis, and we'll be able to fight back for another day. But Lota makes the move. BKB going to be popped. And then they take the relocate really back in. EGM joined side by S4 as Madara retreats up north, back it away. But Alliance not really able to get inside the base and do anything with it. Really, they might be able to catch up. Now they will be able to catch, and Lota begins to stick oh. out with the goo. Earth Splitter, oh, a swing and a miss. Will force Alliance to disengage a bit. And uh, S4 inside and will be able to burst down the Elder Titan. He does not have a buyback and will be out of the game for four. Fusal Blade as well on the Void and it looks like they're actually ready, for, ready to go. They're trying to make the aggressive play. Oh my god, Alliance are actually heading towards the top lane while Skylar, no, not going to be able to get the connection, but it actually will be on EGM. I just saw that. EGM does go down. This could be a wonderful start for Advanem and they quickly clean up the following they're support here. Racks, though. But yeah, Alliance inside the base, S4 whopping down these racks. Advanem persistent though on getting the flank play, but it looks like they are able to snag up the Skylark faceless void. Thug makes his move in, but it looks like he'll be the one stunned up. Madar gonna be going down. He does have a buyback, might need to use it here to help his buddy in crime Thug. Thug is gonna get hit up with false promise as he tries to chemical rage his way back into this. Will heal up promptly. And Alliance do decide to double back. They already got what they needed from this S4 lane, going but for the trade. they are Don't not going to get lane. it. Look at him. He is running. He's going for the Megas here. If Alliance can stall out this fight in the top lane, they will get exactly what they need. And there he is, S4 in the base. Will force out the buyback. Oracle, I don't think you could do it alone. Meanwhile, Thug is able to get the finish, takes down Loda. S4 will be forced to withdraw, but he gets the one Rax, and now it's just one more to Megas. That... They have hey, the chart on Tiny too, so... He's gonna try to break through that back door and he should just be able to. Yep. yep. That's okay. one. And that leaves only a 70 life range racks here at the top lane. They're but just YOLO pushing. Yeah, at the number like, they didn't even, they didn't move at all. The body language says, we're going for the jugular here. The only S4 chance we have to win them. is to make a fight happen here and, and make the game win. They but got S4 in the chrono, there's no relocate to bail him out. Oh my goodness, can they take him down in time? He will have enough money, it looks like, for possibly a buyback, and he will. 90 seconds, he'll be put in the sidelines otherwise, but here they come. Ask to them here. Full desperation mode for them. Can they make it happen here? Into the high ground they go, and Alchemist begins to chunk down this tier 3. Their base, in the meantime, still safe, but can they do enough to kind of just breach and get in to the Alliance port? S4 now going to be forced to fly back here. Bulldog makes his move. BK beat up. Grabs a hold of Thug. Tries to pull back. Oh, and actually looks to go for Skylark, but he gets the false promise and he will be saved. Thug in the meantime looks to go for Loda. Loda, his eyes are on the prize. He's going to get Oracle and finish him off here. And Alliance are going to be able to keep him back in the way. And as you mentioned, that last Rax did go down. It's Mega at Venem. If they don't get this fight, they don't get this game. Alliance, though, looks like they are going to be able to do it. They make their move for Madara, and, well, Madara looks like he'll be able to creep his way out from the trouble. Thug makes his move for Ake. Ooh, Ake gets the Ghost Scepter off. Will live, but not so lucky there for Bulldog. But it's not looking so good. In the end, buybacks begin to come out from Alliance. They know that the game is theirs, and they can just simply take this fight, and it looks like they may. They make their move for Madara. He's out of the game for 90 seconds without a buyback. Thug, their other last hope of a core, about to fall, and it looks like he will be dropped. 100 seconds, does have a buyback, uses it immediately to recognize there's no way, there's nothing we can do. Our Raxes are going to die. The relocate is going to come out, and there's nothing we can do. We have to just try to go for that straight up aggressive push. It doesn't go like subjoining in for this final fight, but 
It doesn't look like he will be able to. And now, Alliance can just bully back at Venom towards their fountain and try to go for the tier fours. Not if Thug has anything to say about it. Spartan, unfortunately, though, will be caught out by Loda and his Abyssal gets locked down. False Promise will be able to keep him alive inside the fountain so he can fight on for another day. Thug, not able to save one of his tier fours, makes his move for S4, but now gets caught between four here. He's just trying to isolate EGM, but he's not going to get that. Bulldog gets a lasso, but then Skylark jumps in, gets a nice three-man chrono here. Loaded though, makes his move for Thug right on the backhand side, and that's going to be the end of him. But just as he falls, Madara comes up, but that will be game. A hard, resilient fight from the Greeks, but Alliance, they do it, and they will take game number one. Yep. I got four incorrect predictions. I got one. Nice. I got one. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, stellar performance from Alliance here in game number one. You know, you recognize with the Adfinum lineup, a bit on the greedy side requires a serious amount of buildup, a lot of pressure on them to be able to succeed in that laning stage where Alliance were really able to kind of, you know, be the successors. We saw Bulldog get that kill in the top lane. He got a good timing on his blink. S4 and EG.